All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to back up your Raspberry Pi image to a USB drive. Um, now, I'm just using a Raspberry Pi uh, 3. Um, so, this should work basically with any Pi. So, I'm using a USB... Uh, what do I want to call it? external case that has a solid state hard drive in it uh, and I previously formatted it using my Windows computer uh, NTFS so there's a simple script to run to back up your image so <clears throat> let's get started so the first thing we need to do is have your uh, thumb drive or whatever you're using plugged into your Pi and uh, have it formatted. Like I said, I'm using NTFS. Uh, I didn't try this on FAT32 or FAT, so, but I'm just using NTFS. So anyway, let's do the following here to show. Now you can see it's mounted on media Pi, then I just named it SSH. So whatever you're using, it should be somewhere like that with obviously a different name. So the next thing to do is we need to clone the directory. So you're going to have to make sure you have git installed, which most of the time it is. But if not, just do a simple sudo at install git. Then we are going to clone the uh, directory, which I have already done. But uh, there's the address. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the code and everything like that. So we're just going to go ahead, hit enter. Like I said, I already have it. So once we're done with that, we're just going to get into the directory of the backup software. And all we need to do is run run one simple uh, command <clears throat> so let me go ahead and show this to you now here you're going to have to change this to uh, whatever your you named your uh, USB thumb drive or external hard drive whatever you may be using so like for example mine is SSD so we'll let that go like that. So here's the com here's the uh, command to run the uh, the script. Then we're going to copy it over to our uh, solid state drive, and you can rename this name this whatever you feel like. So I'm going to rename this because I already done the backup. So your first backup is going to take a while. It might take an hour. Hard to tell. Depends. I'm using the, uh, uh, I forget, this is Scratch or something. So it all depends what you might have on there, depending on how long it's going to take the backup. So anyway, all we need to do is hit Enter. And there we go. It's starting to do its thing now. Well, so we'll just let it go. And uh, <clears throat> once it's done, it should show you the command line back once it's done. But like I said, this will take a little bit. Then to restore it, uh, you can just go ahead and uh, take this image and uh, use like uh, Win32 and just copy it right back onto the uh, US, I mean, onto your uh, micro SD card. So, so you'll have a full backup. So it works out pretty nice. So, and you could hook, you could set this up for Chrome also. So I'll throw them links 
them commands in my uh, on the website also if you want to set it up that it automatically uh, backs up your image but in my case sometimes just one backup would be perfect because I'm not changing anything or adding anything on top of what I already have on some of my pies so like I have a Twitter bot set up on a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero so that would be a good example of backing that up so if something ever happened to the SD card I'm good to go because uh, I'm not changing anything so hopefully this helps out and uh, now obviously this might run a, a lot faster on a Pi 4 especially if you got a USB 3 plugged in thumb drive or an external hard drive or whatnot. This is a, like I said, a solid state uh, SATA 3. So, <clears throat> but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.